Coming up on Tech Gumbo, it's time for another round of useful websites. As usual, these will cover a wide variety of categories, and hopefully you'll find at least a couple of them useful to you. Many of you seem to appreciate the shorter list of five websites to spend more time on each site. So in this video, I'll show you five useful websites that you wish you knew earlier, along with a short personal message from me to all of you that support this channel. And we're starting right now. First, let me take a few seconds to say a special thank you to you all for helping this channel get to over 200,000 subscribers in such a short time. I appreciate and thank you all for watching and sharing these little videos. Also, your insightful comments on each video not only help me, they also help others that read your comments too. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Number one, small PDF. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked for software that will convert a PDF into a Word document or vice versa. If you have Microsoft Word or the paid version of Adobe Acrobat, this process is easy. If you don't, it can be a hassle. Thankfully, Small PDF makes it easy. They have several tools listed on the screen that should help you out, including PDF to Word, Word to PDF, PDF compression, JPEG to PDF, and many others. And since all of the work is done in the cloud, all these tools will work on all operating systems, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to take this LG manual, which is in a PDF format, and convert it into a Word document. So on the screen, I'll select PDF to Word. You can select Choose File to find the file on your computer. Or you can drag a PDF from a folder and just drop it in here, which is what I'll do. So let me drag it over and drop it. You just have to wait for the file to get converted, which in some cases can take a minute or two. When it's done, you have the option to save the file to Google Drive, Dropbox, or download the file. I'll download it and open it up for you. Now here's that same PDF. Now it's in a Word document. Small PDF is a free service that allows up to two tasks to be completed in a 60 minute period. If you want unlimited access, the cost is $6 per month or $48 per year. But for most of you, the free version will be all that you need. Number two, FreeCycle. This is a nonprofit organization that's made up of groups around the world that are interested in giving away and getting free stuff in their local area. Their goal is to keep less usable stuff from ending up in landfills. Founded in 2003, FreeCycle currently has over 5,000 groups with 9 million members in more than 120 countries. From their homepage to find a group near you, you could do a quick search right here, or in the upper banner, select Browse Groups. From this list, find your country. For me, that would be the United States. And then state, that would be Louisiana. Then New Orleans. Now you'll see a full list of all items people are giving away or wanting in your area. One person here is giving away scuba gear and another has an air hockey table they want to give away. This person is looking for moving boxes. And down here, somebody wants a TV VCR combo. To only see what people are giving away, select the Offers tab. And to see what people want, select the Wanted tab. The next time you're looking to give away stuff that you no longer need, check out FreeCycle. Number three, I fix it. If you're a do-it-yourself type of person for doing repairs of electronics, this is the site for you. iFixit is a company that sells parts and tools for doing repairs, but what makes them awesome is their free, easy to follow repair guides. Even if you're a non-techie, you may be able to repair your own stuff following these repair guides. I'll give you a scenario and show you how to navigate this site. So let's say I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 phone and the headphone jack is no longer working and need to replace it with a new part. You could either do a search, but I usually prefer to go through the repair guides link. So I'll select repair guides. Now you'll see several categories, including Mac, PC, phone, and others. I will select phone. The Samsung S8 is obviously an Android phone, so I'll select Android. Now you'll see a long list of manufacturers. I'll select Samsung. It's a Galaxy S8, so I'll select Samsung Galaxy S. Now I just need to find the phone in the list. And it's way down here in the bottom. 
It says here there are 14 replacement guides. I'll select the headphone jack repair guide. Now you'll see some useful information, including the difficulty, how many steps are needed, time required, and what tools are needed to complete the job. If you've got the tools, then you just follow the instructions. If you ever need help with the repair, or you're just trying to find out what's wrong with your device, the Answers Forum is a great area to post your questions to get assistance. And if you enjoy watching electronics get disassembled, you should also check out their teardown section. The next time you need your device repaired, instead of overpaying somebody to do it for you, do it yourself with the iFixit repair guides. Number four, Supercook. In the previous video, I mentioned My Fridge Food, which finds recipes based on the ingredients you already have. Many of you said that you preferred Supercook because it was more accurate and easy to use for finding recipes. In fact, a few of you might remember I mentioned Supercook a while back in another series. It's a recipe search engine that finds recipes you can make with ingredients you currently have at home. Currently, Supercook knows over 600,000 recipes. I'll show you how to use it. In the left pane, you have two options. You can either type in the ingredients or choose from categories. And I'll do that right now. So I'll hit the plus sign on dairy and currently have butter, eggs, milk, and cheddar. In the meats, have some ground beef and bacon. Vegetables, only have an onion. And I'll go down the list here. And from the nuts category, I'll say I have pistachios. And from the condiments category, I've got mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar. Now it says based on the ingredients I selected, I can make 165 recipes, like a bacon cheese frittata and a whole lot more. The next time you can't decide what to make for your next meal or dessert, give Supercook a try. Number five, strong password generator. When it comes to online security, one of the most important factors is having a strong password for some of your accounts. Many of you are still not comfortable using a password manager. This is where Strong Password Generator comes in handy. Using names, dates, or other common words makes for very weak passwords that are easy to crack. There are even some people that use the word password as their password. It couldn't be any simpler to use. For a new password, select Generate Password. Now you have a new password that would be almost impossible for anybody to figure out. You can change the options by selecting Show Options. Here you can change the length of the password. You can show phonetic words to make your new password easier to remember. Include punctuation. Avoid punctuation used in programming. And you can make it avoid similar characters. Give Strong Password Generator a try the next time you need a really strong password. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you got something useful from it. Let us know in the comments if you know of a useful website that you think would benefit others. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification for more from our website series and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.